Hello everyone. Trying out OBS as a recording software um, this time. So let's see how this goes. The interface is a little bit different. So let's see if we can get used to it. Um, so today we're going to be revisiting a uh, favorite deck for our um, content. So once again, we're going to be looking at a deck tech as well as some commentary and gameplay. So we are bringing back the good old Amber Amethyst Stitch deck um, with uh, some additions in order to kind of um, deal with some of the new cards that have been spoiled. So notably, um, last time uh, the last time we ran this deck, we have used a bunch of the same cards, um, most of the one drops. So in Amber, we have Hey Hey, uh, Stitch, um, Timon. Be our guest in order to search out for um, our key cards and combo tricks. Lantern in order to speed up um, our deck. LeFou, um, also a two drop. And Mini as well, uh, also a two drop. Um, and, uh, and Stitch. So those are all of the um, bringing back the same cards as last time. However, we are adding uh, some additions. We're adding two copies of the Hades um, and then four copies of the Simba while taking out some uh, weaker one drops. Um, and we add Hades because now more than ever, uh, we need multiple copies of Stitch Rockstar in order to um, deal with the kind of comboing off. Opponents uh, have a much easier time removing our first copy of Stitch Rockstar. So we we just use uh, some copies of Hades for a little bit of recursion. Um, if we get lucky, we don't draw Hades super early and we draw it when we need to. And then Simba for some additional protection. Uh, Simba is a great um, stat for a two drop um, card. Um, and uh, it also has bodyguard. So that's pretty nice. Then for Amethyst, we notably have taken out all four copies of Maleficent um, and two copies of the Pascal in order to replace it with the Hades and the Simba. Um, just as you notice, both of uh, those cards are one drops and just completely uh, get destroyed by the giant Tinker Barrel. So we uh, remove some of those and then I don't think we change anything else. So we just have uh, Archimedes uh, survives the initial Tinkerbell. Unslot Olaf uh, with three health. Um, also a one drop. I think Olaf is at the very top. Nope. Where, oh, where is Olaf? Olaf, Olaf, Olaf. For some reason, I just can't find Olaf anymore. Oh, somewhere in the middle, yeah, back to top. Um, and then uh, Dr. Facilier uh, for, for, uh, for more health um, at the two drops stat line. And then the three drops are just Maleficent and friends on the other side for card draw. In order to once again get um, our combo pieces um, working. All right, so let's get into some gameplay this time and see how it turns out. Yeah, the reason I switched to OBS is because um, the other kind of uh, screen capture tool I've been using, I noticed there's some lag between um, the webcam and uh, voice over. So the voiceover is uh, timed perfectly um, with the uh, gameplay um, and uh, everything I'm doing on screen, but there was some lag between the voice, uh, uh, voice and uh, the webcam. And so hopefully OBS helps uh, that a little bit better and just makes it smooth, not like I'm lagging behind everything. Okay. So cool, we got one piece of our stitch combo. We got be our guest to search out for some more. We don't really want any two drops um, for LeFou. And I guess we uh, mulligan everything just to continue to look for our stitches and our um, uh, lanterns. 
Didn't find any stitches, but we did get uh, some more BR guests um, and friends on the other side to hopefully um, find our combo pieces. So pretty early on, we definitely want to ink all of our two drops, um, except for BR guest, because we use that to search out. So it's a pretty easy ink uh, for Dr. Facilier. Um, and I don't think we want to play out any of our one drops, though I do think of all of the one drops we might want to play out, it would be Pascal. Um, just to create a little bit of pressure, but I think we're going to be, um, yeah, I'm going to pass. Um, and specifically, we're just saying saving fuel for our first stitch turn, which is going to be... Um, one of the most important turns for any stitch deck, which is the first turn where you have full ink and you have a stitch rock star on board. Yeah, and hope everyone's doing well on this Saturday morning. So, okay, opponents playing. Uh, Emerald, and I didn't see the inked card. I wish I was paying a little bit more attention, but it's okay. So once again, we also um, have another two ink, two or two drop to ink. Um, and we will play be our guest in order to see if we can find that stitch. Perfect. That's the value of uh, the be our guests, and then we will pass. So now we have a pretty um, solid line. So turn three, we play the stitch. We probably play another be our guest, and then turn four, we uh, shift out the stitch, and then turn five will be our first stitch turn. There. Okay. Cruella quests. And they play a pewter pen after inking one. Okay, wonder how evasive their deck is going to be. Okay, so this is kind of good. Instead of be our bet guess, I think we're going to play out a lantern, tap it, play a stitch. Um, but uh, and we have enough. Um one drops for that first turn so we will ink a friends on the other side saving all of our one drops um play out a lantern have that play out a stitch um and then pass the turn we didn't technically need to tap the lantern there Floating one extra ink. Yeah, but there wasn't a way to play out the stitch and the BR guest on the same turn. This way, at least we get um a little bit more of a head start. Okay, so they're playing red, green, red. And it looks like they're definitely playing green, red evasive, which is fine. I think our deck can outrace evasive. Um... So we'll tap this, shift out the rock star. Um, and then we will ink a friend on the other side. We'll wa we want to keep be our guest in order to uh, search out. Um, and then we will play out an Olaf. Draw a card, um, and pass to turn. And so now um, we can run out the Pascal and the Hey Hey next turn, and hopefully continue to get um, more fuel. What we don't want to see is Dragon Fire, which, yep, that generally does it, um, unless I can find another uh, Stitch ASAP. Yeah, um, turn five dragon fire is just really good against the stitch deck. So we will continue to search. Ah, 
at least it's something. We got our Hades for the recursion. Um, Inca Minnie Mouse. Uh, tap the lantern, play out the Hades, um, and bring back our rock star. And pass the turn. That way, um, next turn we can run into the Cruella with Hades, which is absolutely fine. In fact, they might not even press with Cruella. Yeah, smart, smart play on the opponent's part um, to not press with the Cruella. Um, because that way, um, later on, I can't attack into Cruella if I have a Stitch on board. Or they're going to quest with Cruella, which is fine too, because that just gives me a target to run the Hades into. I'm going to return my Hades, that's totally fine. Uh, that's more recursion for the stitch. Play out the stitch. But once again, that turn um, five Dragonfire really slows me down. Play out Pascal. Um, and then pass the turn. Yeah, um, they get five. So they're up to 15. Unless they have another Dragonfire in their hand. Which, that's just going to be really difficult to defeat, okay? They're not questioning with the Pongo, that's great. Eesh, okay, that's game. Yeah, um, there's no way to recover from my genie. I think they have... 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 on board, and I don't have any way to remove, so that's a good game. All right, yep, it's difficult against a good um, Ember uh, Emerald, uh, sorry, uh, Ruby Emerald deck, just because uh, they got all of the removals at the right time. If they didn't have uh, that dragon, uh, we might have been in business. Hmm. So, the quick game, uh, we don't have any of our combo pieces. We do have the lantern, so we will keep that. And we will mulligan the rest. Okay, we got two rock stars, that's good. Hades for recursion, um, but kind of wanted a normal stitch. So without that, I guess we Inca Facilier. That's once again, um, early on, two drops really don't do anything for us. So pass the turn. Next turn, we're probably gonna sing. Two lanterns. Two lanterns, huh? Um, so that's a turn for um, Rockstar. Lantern, Lantern, turn two, Lantern, turn three, Lantern, turn four, Rockstar. Um, turn two, Lantern, turn three, Lantern, and Maleficent. Turn for Rockstar. I think that's what we're going to end up doing. So we will ink the BR guest and play out a turn two lantern and pass the turn. Hopefully, we get um, something that we can ink um, next turn. Actually, we can just uh, play out the Malef Maleficent regardless. So we get two uh, card draw chances to try to. Nice. So we'll tap that, play out the Maleficent. Did I do this wrong? Yeah. I, I did it. Oh, not punished though. Okay. So, Inca LeFou and play out a Stitch. 
so we can still get um, the turn four. So what I should have done was ink the LeFou, play the Lantern, and tap two to play the Maleficent. Um, that would have been the correct line to play. So that way I get two Lanterns on board and the same board state. I'm actually totally okay with how this turned out. Um, yeah, we will ink this LeFou. Um, attack into the Maleficent with our Maleficent. Um, play out a Lantern. And then tap to and shift out the Stitch. And pass the turn. Yeah, we don't want to run into a Giant Tink. Giant Tink can do two... 3 damage to a stitch, but it still allows us to start hopefully comboing off. Cool. That is good to see. They don't have the giant tink, or at least it didn't want to play it there, wanted to draw loot. you will run into the Maleficent, that's totally fine. Four cards in hand. Three cards in hand. Seeing a Maleficent too bad. That's not a card we want to see. Um, that is not a card we want to see. Seeing like this card, the Maleficent. Huh? I guess we could get two stitches on board and start questing with them. Hoping opponent doesn't have a giant tank. Yeah, that Rafiki does a lot of damage. Yep. We will just quest and pass the turn. Hopefully, um, two stitches is a bit threatening on the board. Generally, uh, I don't get too many void states where you just have two stitches without, um, comboing off. Good. The good news is, even a giant tank uh, would have done exactly the same thing as last time. Okay, cool. They did a fire the cannons. Not too um, worrisome. I always have Hades to recur the stitch back, which is great. Hopefully, um, opponents running out of fuel a little bit. They get a cannons back, which is good to note. Um, so any um, two damage characters are going to be... Okay, they're questing with Maleficent. That's fine. Um, generally, we do want to try to take out their Maleficent. So, but first, um, we have a Pascal. So we're just going to play out and hopefully get some of our combo pieces. Not too much. So we will ink a Maleficent. Attack the Maleficent with a stitch um then play out another stitch i guess and pass the turn um and at next turn we can hades and recur one of the stitches that goes into the graveyard so Okay, that's fine. Another fire to cannons. Yeah, fair enough. We totally don't mind opponents spending fuel on um, 
getting rid of our big stitches because once again we added some new cursion. So this is good. Opponent only has one card in their hand. Hopefully it's not something super concerning. Um, we will play out the Maleficent. Get a card draw. Um, and we will recur back our stitch rock star and we will quest with this stitch and pass the turn so that way we can force our opponent to have to try to deal with our stitch again and then um we have another stitch laying in wait in the background and then we can play out pascal so Cool. And if they can't get rid of our stitch, um, all the better for us. Okay, they're gonna not shift. Interesting. I wonder why they don't shift. I guess if they shifted and they ran their tank into a stitch, it would have killed their Tinkerbell. This way, at least, uh, the Tinkerbell's on, on board, but it does give me some turns to go off with um, my cards. So we will go ahead, play out the Pascal. Um, we will go ahead, sing Friends on the Other Side with someone. It doesn't really matter. Uh, well, draw into a Simba? No, we want, we want Olaf's. We want low cost things. Play an Olaf, play a Hey Hey, play a Stitch. Um, uh, it's really tempting to ink, um, no. Say a facilier. All of these are really nice, um, things that a simple Tinkerbell won't be able to, um, deal with. And then ink a Lafou, play a facilier. Let's run out our card, essentially. Okay, we got another lantern. Um, we probably want to kill their Tinkerbell. Um, and Tink can kill one thing and ping another thing, so that's, um, slightly annoying, but nothing to be done about it. Um, the question now is do we, yeah, we do want to quest, um, so if we quest, Tink is gonna kill Stitch, kill something else, Hook is gonna kill something else, um, what we can do next turn is play out another Stitch and um hopefully uh put some more pressure on it so we do want to quest with the stitch um and pass having and this is the um the need nowadays of just having multiple rock stars in hand and being able to play it out i think i've played out at least three if not four um stitches and i still have one in hand so that's um yep and he's going to ping something. Don't know what he's going to ping. Probably the Hey Hey or the Pascal. The Stitch. Okay, well, I guess he knows that I have another Stitch in my hand um, from the Hades. But not super worried. I don't have too much gas right now. Um, so the plan was just to play out a Stitch with the lantern and hopefully I'm um, having enough and hopefully opponent is also running out of gas. So uh, it is important for me to take out the Tinkerbell next turn. Um, so that's gonna be something I will definitely end up doing. Um, Archimedes is good. So if I play a lantern for five six and then i can tap another lantern to play out the archimedes so i will play out the lantern 
tap 2 in order to play out the Stitch, and then tap the Lantern in order to play out the Archimedes. Nice. Um, I won't ink the Olaf. Um, so we will run. Um, probably. Facilier. So the reason I want to keep a Maleficent is because I do have friends on the other side I can sing with her. Or, um, but Facilia is a two drop. So other than friends on the other side, a Tinkerbell would wreck Maleficent. So I would probably just run the Maleficent in. Yeah. Um, and then I'll attack Captain Hook with the Facilia. Uh, hedge my bets. Uh, attack Captain Hook with this Pascal, um, and then uh, let's see. Guess we'll quest and continue to put pressure on the opponent. Hopefully, they don't get a Tink. Tink would essentially do a lot of damage to my ward. Okay, that's that's good. Okay. And they're going to have to run into my Facilier's. It's probably going to attack a lot with Kristoff and Facilier with Tinkerbell. But that way we can get some uh some more card draws going on. No, he's attacking Facilier without removing it. Interesting. Okay. The health stat line of Facilier has done its work. Four health is really good. Um, and we can heal some health off of him. Don't think it helps too much. Um, but always remember to use lanterns because we do have non-character uh, cards in our deck. But healing two health off of Facilier is gonna matter. Oh, I forgot to use a lantern, didn't I? Yo. I was just so excited about grabbing another Timon, so. All right, continue to feel nice. Um, we'll play out the Archimedes. Nice, we'll play out the Simba in bodyguard mode. Happened. What? Uh -oh. oh. You have to exert. You can't play out the. Ah. I messed that up. Okay. Good lesson learned. Always play out your Simba's non exerted. And then exert them in order to... Oh, that's tricky. Oh man, I lost on a card draw there. Okay. But we got another stitch, so that's great. Because now we can... Um, let's see, do we want to... We want to run our facility probably into something. So probably... We could take out the Tinkerbell. I think that's the smart play here. Take out the Tinkerbell, um, just so they can't shift a giant tank on there. And then quest, and then quest, and then uh, hopefully see if uh, we can fresh out the five floor next turn. Oh, that's really good to know. Okay. That's really good to know. We need to play out our Simba's non-exerted. Yep, and that's a good game. All right, hope this has been helpful. I certainly learned uh, quite a bit from this game. Um, and uh, hopefully uh, you guys can uh, take some of um, my mistakes and uh, improve and not make the same ones I did. Awesome. Have a great day and take care.